Did you know April is National Poetry Month and spoken word continues to be a growing art form? Here to talk about it are Tiffany McCaskill, also known on stage as Articulite. She's the founder of Hot Sauce Poetry and comedic poet Daryl Brown, who goes by the stage name The Real Deal. Welcome to you both. And I don't think we put Real Deal in your, your name. You're not too happy about that. Right? You're like, that's, that's my name. Daryl. Like, yeah. It says Daryl on the birth certificate, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe it was the real day. He yeah. might try to run away from the law. You never know. You it never know. Be. It could be. You founded Hot Sauce uh, Poetry. Tell, yes. tell us what it is for people not well, familiar. Hot Sauce Poetry is a dynamic, inspirational poetry set with a little comedy in there. We offer free food because sometimes you go to places. Free food? Yes, and what? they do not give you free food. You mean you're not demanding that we buy two drinks and sit there and go? Absolutely not. Whoa. Absolutely. My free. ticket covers the food. <laughs> yes, but the okay. bottle of water is a dollar and the juice is a two dollars. <laughs> but we offer free food and we like to bring an atmosphere where everyone can come. You know, your grandmother, your cousin, your friends, maybe a, a younger kid. And we like to bring forth spoken word poetry in a different way, from comedic, from inspirational, um, just different styles of poetry. Well, it's clear to me what comedic poetry, what is inspirational poetry? Mm. Inspirational is something positive. You know, a lot of times we talk about God, we talk about the Lord as well. We talk about also things that motivate people to get people through that situation. People have heard some poetry that made them um, not wanted to do certain different things they shouldn't be doing, I should say. <laughs> and it's awesome. And, and, and for you, real deal, you know, there's some guys out there that say, oh, you know, I'm not going to, poetry, okay. Uh, well, what got you interested in poetry? Well, I used to always come up with a rhyme, you know, always one to two lines, and then I just added on to it, you know, and then, you know, I, I did a whole poem. And then they started coming out with poetry clubs and poetry sets. So I had a place to showcase my talent. And, and once I did that, you network, you meet people. I met her and a lot of places, you know, and, and I loved it. And, you know, I yeah. believe that's my gift. Yeah, know. and it, it, we have a nice scene for poetry here, here in Chicago. Uh, on a Sunday night, you can hear on V103. Mm -hmm. the, the spoken. We've yeah. heard you before yes, doing that. Yes, thank you, Chris <laughs> Michaels. So yes, uh, I've been on V103 quite a few times doing spoken word poetry. I love it um, as well. Um, and also the Green Mill, I've been there, did some poetry. And uh, like I said, we like to make poetry fun. And it's a lot of poetry sets in Chicago, but sometimes people do not know where these poetry sets are at. But if they Google, even do a Facebook Google, you'll find quite a bit. So where can we, where can we go? Any, you know, any given Friday night, you're the longest running on the west side uh, uh, since 2009. Yeah, inspirational. Mm -hmm. Inspirational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where's, where's the scene? Where can, where can we, and it's in the suburbs, right? And, uh, and, and, uh, in the Southland. Yeah, yes. It's even some poetry sets in the suburbs also. Uh, matter of fact, Flavor even have a poetry set oh, yeah. going on there. And also, I just want to say, in the poetry community, um, you have the north side, you have the south side. It's like different styles and so forth. But um, what, are, what are the different styles? The different styles is that a lot of times on the south side when we do spoken word, we're more theatric. Um, <laughs> if you go on the north side, a lot huh. of them, you know, a lot of the authors and so forth, they, a lot of them are, are non-theatric, that's what I've noticed over the years. But um, like I said, we like to make poetry exciting. We even had a contest one time which uh, the worst poet will win a prize. We had a, a contest where if you can be the worst poet, you <laughs> win a prize. Oh, I would be guaranteed to win that one. <laughs> can you all give us a sample? Can we hear from the real deal? Articulate, can we hear from you? Yeah, absolutely. Take it over, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you want to go? <laughs> yeah, please. I, I, we've got a monitor right over here if you want to mm -hmm. move right on over. And while you guys are getting set, I'll just mention that. Go ahead. Oh. Go over and join them. Uh, hot Sauce Poetry every second and fourth Friday of the month. Uh, it's at 153rd South Pulaski Road, Chicago, 730 to 1030 at night, facebook.com, hot sauce poetry, inspirational set. If you want more information, go for it. The real deal in Articulate now. Okay. You go for it. Okay. All right. The name of this poem is titled, The Weather. What's up with this weather? I mean, you don't know how it's going to be. 
Because one day it's cold as hell, the next day be 93. One day I got my air conditioner on. The next day I got on my heat. One day I'm walking around with boots on, next day I got sandals on my feet. One day I got shorts and no shirt on. The next day I got on a sweater. All I'm trying to say, y'all, we've been having some crazy messed up weather. I mean, you don't know how to plan your day. You don't know how to dress. And when I turn on the news to see what the weatherman's saying, like he taking a guess. He's saying it's a 50% chance of rain or possibility of snow. But what the weatherman really be saying, he don't even know. Cause this weather be crazy as I don't know what. And it's driving me insane. Cause I don't know, should I go get my car washed or is it gonna rain? I don't know, should I plan for a picnic or take my wife to the zoo? I don't know, should I just stay at home or what the hell to do? See, I used to put up my winter and summer clothes, depending on what season we in. But now I leave both of them out cause I don't know when I gotta go get it again. One take, it rained, snow and hail all in the same day. And when I called my daughter who stayed two blocks over, she said everything that was okay. I mean, this weather be crazy I don't know what. You don't know how it's gonna be. Cause one day it be cold as hell, next day be 93. <laughs> <laughs> so this poem here, a lot of the women may be able to relate to this. Have you ever been to the beautician and your hair did not come out the way that you wanted to? So this is a poem for you all. It's called, Why Do You Call Yourself a Beautician? So, why do you call yourself a beautician? You're not never on time. You told me my appointment started at eight, but you don't get there to nine and it don't take four hours for my hair to dry. So tell me why you be lying and why you be booking 10 people for the same time. So why do you call yourself a beautician? Because when I'm there, you always gossiping on that phone. Can't you see I'm tired and ready to go home and you told me you was hungry and I don't mind you taking a 10 minute break, but dang, you wrong for trying to do my hair with those three chicken wings in your left hand. So I'm gonna ask you again, why? Do you call yourself a beautician? And I'm not trying to poke no fun, but why every time I see you, your hair ain't never done? So after dealing with you, I realize I'm through because you make good beauticians look bad. You dig? Because you made a young girl like me who love perms go straight to them wigs. And that's that piece. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh my God, that's so great. Oh, well, you know, we have a little time. I, should, should, I remember you said it, it just starts with a small piece and then you add on to it. Can we teach me? Is, that, is, that, is there any yes. help? Is it, is it possible? I'm the newsman. Okay. Okay, now mm -hmm. what else? What, 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 what should we add to that? Well, are you going to be joining us doing this poem with us? Yeah, okay, we, we're great, doing great. it together. Okay, let's do a freestyle poem. A freestyle? Yeah, okay. just a freestyle. It, have, it better not have to rhyme. <laughs> no, and this, let me tell you one thing people always mistake. They think poetry has to rhyme hmm. your poetry do not have to rhyme ah, all right well we got about a minute left what, what can we do here well let's say for instance what did you do today I interviewed you interview me okay and Dara did you have a question for him before we start no mm -hmm. no no I just know that he came in the middle so he want to talk. <laughs> I just noticed he was going to do something from the way he woke. It was okay. A, okay. And it was a good talk. Uh -huh. And I feel good about myself. All right. And I see that them shoes that you got on look like you got a lot of wealth. <laughs> well, yeah. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> As though I see sometimes it is. But I must say that this weather is beautiful. And I hope you have great cheers. Okay, all right, well, thank you all. So, look at that, we just did it, we did talk your word. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you so much for watching. Visit our Facebook page where you can see past segments as well as leave suggestions for our guests. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see People to People, please check us out. Next week, Lourdes Duarte will be here for Adelante. Stay tuned for the WGN Weekend Morning News and I'll see you tonight on the WGN Weekend Evening News. Take care.